Hi, Internet. Welcome to the Gred Shoran YouTube channel, here with another Wildcard Wednesday reaction. So, as mentioned in last week's Wildcard Wednesday, I planned out the first couple Wildcard Wednesdays because I really wanted to make sure I did great songs and kind of showed you the, you know, where I'm going off the beaten path with the Wildcards. And so, this is the last one I have planned for the Wildcard Wednesdays, and is it just um, a really great song by a really great up-and-coming artist. Uh, the song that we're doing today is Vibin' on Replay by Morgan Bosman, who is um, just a phenomenal uh, Nashville-based musician, uh, originally from St. Louis, um, went to Belmont University, which is just um, you know, a very prestigious school for music, uh, has a great background in jazz, in soul, and R&B, um, you know, just a great songwriter, a uh, great singer, Great, uh, great uh, keyboard player, great flute player, and um, most importantly, a great human and uh, a great friend. Uh, known her for a number of years. She's uh, did a duet with her on our last album and done duets with her live. Um, sincerely, just a, a great friend, kind soul. I can't say enough great things about her as a person. Uh, just like. Really, just uh, you know, one one of the best people I know. Incredibly socially aware. Uh, you know, her you know Facebook and Twitter feed is always full of resources to to help the community. Where uh, you know after the tornado hit in Nashville, she and I were both out volunteering, helping people, and I would see her posting links all the time. And uh, you know, it just you know resources for the community and with you know the protests and stuff going on. Like she's just been, she's just really very socially aware, but not in like a not in a preachy way. Just really just actively involved in the community and just a sincerely good person. And it's been super supportive of me for for many many years. Um, just a good friend. And uh, once again, uh, she she doesn't know that this video is coming. Uh, but I saw that she subscribed to the channel, and uh, I was planning on doing this anyway before she subscribed to the channel. But I think this will be a nice little surprise in the feed since she subscribed. <laughs> um, but uh, you know. Beyond that, uh, you know, you get honesty on this channel. If I thought her music sucked, I wouldn't react to it. Uh, her music is great. This is a great song. Just um, a cool, like, throwback, like, kind of 70s funk soul song, but, you know, with some modern pop sheen. It's really, really great. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you because I think it's just a, it's a great song. So, yeah, this is Vibin' on Replay by Morgan Bosman. <laughs> So do, do, do. I feel like groove coming on, gonna boogie on down, down, down. Yeah, uh, a lot of great stuff to comment on right away. You know, phenomenal instrumentation. Um, I actually don't know who in particular is on this track, so my bad on that. But, uh, you know, I've uh, become friends with uh, many of Morgan's bandmates throughout the years. Um, great musicians, great people. She's really good about, you know, surrounding herself by people who are both, you know, great at their instruments and just great personality-wise, too. Um, but, you know, everything about this is just immaculate. Just, uh, you know, a catchy, funky riff, you know, the bass slides, uh, and just uh, Morgan's vocals. Um You've got a really great melody that um, showcases sort of the dynamic power of her voice where, you know, there's some higher register stuff, there's some lower register stuff. She's emoting very well. It's um, And uh, the melody is uh, is varied, uh, as is often the case in, in R&B, where, you know, you, you mix it up and it's not necessarily a predictable melody line, but it's still incredibly catchy. Uh, and so that balance uh, is very difficult to do. And... Um, just freaking nailing it on this track. So off to a great start. Gonna boogie on down, down, down. It's fine. And you pop with me. Cause we gon' ride it out tonight. All you gotta do is feel the beat. Yeah, and then the, the dance beat picking up makes you want to shake your booty makes you feel good you know um 
This is a song that gets played a lot in my house when my wife and I feel like having a dance party. You know, we'll pop on one of Morgan's songs, mix it up with like, you know, some Korean pop and, uh, you know, some Michael Jackson. Just like if you want to get the dance party going, this is a song that, you know, gets the party going. Just, uh, you know, it's 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 building and, and to anticipation of the chorus, it just keeps getting better. So we wind a hair. All you gotta do is Yeah, just, man, what a killer hook. It's so, it's so catchy where the first time you hear it, it's like, oh, it's, it feels like you've heard it before because it's such a great hook. It just, you know, it just, it just locks you in, you know, it's both, you know, it has that great sing-along chorus, but, you know, if you're just locked in the groove and just wanting to dance, you can do that too. You know, with, uh, with music that you can dance to, you know, that, that can be very tricky because you, you want to keep that beat going. You don't want to lose the beat. You want to keep the, the people locked into that groove. But you still want to have the dynamics of the powerful sing-along chorus. And that's trickier to do than a lot of people realize. And so, once again, just um, really, really knocking it out of the park. And once again, just, uh, you know, phenomenal, phenomenal vocals. Just all around great. Yeah, let's get back to it. Subtle keyboards. That's such a good vocal. Yeah, just a really great production choice to have uh, the other instruments drop out, just have the, the percussion and the vocal there very cool, and then that bass line lead into the chorus, very awesome. Um, you know, Morgan is uh, one of these... Mu- I, you know, I've worked with a lot of really great musicians over the years, uh, you know... Uh, like Tom Pappas from Super Drag, Billy Morris from Warrant, Phil Schaus from the Gene Simmons Band... Um, Many, many great musicians, many of them close friends, and I would I would consider Morgan a close friend. And uh, I just feel very, very grateful uh, to have worked with someone this talented in basically any capacity. Like, to have her on my album is a treat. Uh, to have someone who is this good of a singer work with a singer who is... Look, look I'm not a great singer. Uh, I'm, a cool, I'm a great frontman. I'm a great songwriter. I am not a great singer. So to have her make me look good or, you know, look bad by comparison, however you want to look at it, you know, is a treat. I, you know, remember when I first just saw her play at an open mic that I frequented and I was like, this person has a a great voice um, where I wanted to cover Jim Steinman songs and couldn't find someone who I felt had the right voice who could handle it. And um, then I met her like, you need to sing Jim Steinman with me. Also, let's be friends. And, uh... Then, like, uh, the guy who ran the open mic, I can vouch for this guy. Like, he, he's weird, but he's cool. And then we've been uh, we've been uh, good friends ever since. But uh, just, you know, she's got just a really, you know, it's it's grit. Uh, there's grit there, but it's also clean. It's accessible. It's emotive. It's exactly what you'd want from a vocalist. So just all around cool stuff. Um, rewinding as we get back into that chorus.
a really, really excellent bridge there. And, uh, you know, one of the things that's so great about this song is that um, it works well in so many different contexts, where if you're just, say, like a 70s, like, funk and R&B fan, and that's your jam, you know what? This will go great. That's just some Cool in the Gang or P-Funk. Like, this would fit in. But if you're just someone who wants to go to the club and are just into the modern dancing, this fits in well with that context, too. So it's both great as kind of a retro song, but also very contemporary and fresh. Uh, so really, it just it checks off all the boxes of a, of a great song. Just, um, you know, great lyrics, great performance, uh, great arrangement. Um, you know, the fact that this isn't like a, a huge hit is kind of a crime because it is so, so, so stinking good. Yeah, uh, you know, great, great keys at the end. I'm not super into the the like the low voice at the end. Um, I think that's sort of a, a thing I've noticed in some other like modern pop songs. Um, it's just uh, I feel like the rest of the song is so great, and that part is good, but it doesn't um, suck me in the way the rest does. But the, I mean, you know, that's like that's like a really, really minor nitpick for a song that otherwise is perfect, and that doesn't really hurt the song necessarily. I would say, you know, for those who know my rating system, you know, I've got F at the bottom, D, uh, C, B, A, and then above A is S. So S stands for Super A, that's the way the Japanese do it, and uh, then double S is like a level above S. Um, This is triple S. This is really great. This is a really, really phenomenal song that is just so impressive on every level, from the production, the performances, the the writing, and, you know, at the center of it is just this amazing musician, amazing performer, amazing friend. Like, you know, even if I didn't, like, know her personally, I would still think this track is fire. Like, it's just, it's just really stinking good. And, um... You know, I don't want to, you know, turn this channel to just like Greg Rats to his friends' bands and, you know, highlights them. But, like, this, I recognize the quality of this. I wanted to mix up in not just rat to rock songs on this channel because there's a lot of other music that I like. And I thought that because this had a little bit of that retro vibe that a lot of people on this channel would appreciate it. Um, so, you know, those factors combined and also just, you know, Yes, my close friendship and just like my respect for her as an artist and just a human being made me say, yes, I need to react to this. It has to be done. But, uh, you know, I really hope you guys enjoyed it uh, because, you know, unbiased, you know, yes, I have biases. But even with my biases, going against my biases, I would still think this is a great song. You know, maybe it would only get single S, uh, <laughs> you know. If I wasn't the close friends, but because, you know, the close friendship and just like, oh, you're such a good person. No, double S. Um, so, I, you know, I highly encourage you to check out more of her music. Lots of great songs. And uh, I, my goal for my next wild card is that I have a list of some obscure artists, uh, like some up and coming musical acts that I haven't ever heard of that have been in the comments. And so I'm a uh, next planned wild card. I'm going in blind to a band I've never heard. 
uh, to try to give them the same level of respect as an established artist. Uh, so hopefully you guys will check that out, and hopefully it's good, and I, you know, hopefully I have nice things to say. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, that's the video. Let me know what you guys thought of the song. Do the like in the comment, the subscribe, and the bell icon. And I'm also going to link Morgan's channel in the description, so you should subscribe to her too, because she has lots of cool music on the channel. Well, that is the video, folks. Y'all have a good one. Bye.